Uh, now, your, your love of the scriptures, Tom, <laughs> is inspiring. And for the majority of us and many of our viewers, how would you encourage us to read and study the Bible? Uh, we've got to do whole Bible reading. We, there are many schemes out there, but actually, if somebody started to read, say, Tolkien at a young age, they might well read a book this size in a week or two. It's not a big deal. People can do that. Young people can do that. If you read roughly three or four pages a day, you'll get through the Bible in a year. Yes. I wouldn't actually ultimately recommend doing it straight through like that. There is, there's some merit in it. There are different schemes where first you read Genesis, then you read Matthew or whatever. People can make their own schemes, but do it. Get on with it. And particularly read whole books. Set aside an hour or two when you're not too busy with anything else. Switch off your mobile phone and actually read through 1 and 2 Kings yes. or read through Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians at a run and let it wash over you. And the fact that you don't remember all the bits and pieces really doesn't matter. You know, if you go to a great symphony concert, you have an overture and a concerto and a symphony. At the end of the day, if somebody says to you, but I bet you can't whistle the second tune from the, the first movement or whatever, that's not the point. We have been taken on a journey. And so enjoy the Bible like that, but then be prepared to get into the, as people say, into the weeds of it. What's actually going on in this verse? Um, why does he say it like that? Pull some commentaries off the shelf. And for goodness sake, if you can learn Greek, I know you grew up speaking yes. Greek probably, so I hope you read the Bible in Greek, but, uh, uh, but th the more you do, the more it will open up. And so if you haven't got the Greek or the Hebrew, I would say, please, please get two or three or four different modern translations, because if you stick with one, you will be fooled into thinking that that is the automatic and only meaning. Whereas there are many passages where the Greek doesn't go exactly into English. And so we need two or three different translations to help us think there's something more subtle going on. So read it big, but also read it small and get on with it. <laughs>